Hi everyone, this is your Penny Saves Paldea FAQ, which as we all know, stands for fun, answerable questions. Please work with me here, I don't have a laugh track. Okay, so when did this story start? I began writing Penny Saves Paldea on November 20th, 2022, a couple days after Gen 9 came out, and it's been updated with at least one new chapter every week since. I started posting on AO3 first and later on FF.net, and eventually onto other sites as well. I started the videos when I had written chapter 24, but unfortunately the chapter numbers do not always line up with the video numbers. Why don't the numbers match? All right, fair question. Mostly because it would have involved cutting a lot of the story or making way longer videos. But if you view the story on Wattpad or Web Novel, where I started posting later, the parts there are divided and numbered to line up with the YouTube videos. Speaking of numbers, how old is everyone in this fic anyway? Uh, yeah, sure, let's do a rundown on that. Juliana is 12, Penny is 15, Arvin is 14, Nimona is 15, Ari is 18, Mela is 15, Giacomo is 17, Atticus is 16, Ortega is 14, he's older than he looks, Iono is 19, Grusha is 24, and Clavel's age is undetermined, but definitely too old to be dressing up as Clive. So do you need to watch the videos in order? For the first eight parts, I'd say it doesn't matter too much. They do follow chronologically, but any background info you need is laid out at the start. For parts 10 and later, because I'm counting this as part nine, yeah, I'd say you probably want to watch some kind of the story so far summary video before diving into the rest. Did I make a summary video? In fact, I did, with illustrations. Here you go. Penny Saves Paldea takes place midway through the regular story of Pokemon Scarlet. The premise is that all Scarlet's glitches are canon, and these anomalies, as they're called by anyone who notices them, affect some people more than others. Arvin can phase through objects when he's thinking about something that frightens him. Ortega has a similar ability activated when he gets angry. Unlike Arvin, he has a lot less control over it. If either of their emotions get too intense, they might flicker out of existence altogether. Arvin and Ortega both knew each other as kids, with Ortega's family funding much of Professor Sada's research. Team Star is putting all their efforts into getting rid of the anomalies, but so far Arvin is the best lead they have. Unfortunately, he and Ortega had a falling out as kids and refused to work together. To complicate matters, Clavel and Juliana both think Team Star is responsible for the anomalies. Arvin is skeptical, but as in the canon story, his focus is more on curing Mavistiff. Juliana has five gym badges, two titan badges, and zero star badges, despite taking down two of the bases. Giacomo wasn't present for the raid on the Dark Crew, and Mela might have pulled a Claire and refused to hand the badge over. With everyone's goals divided, Peldia now needs all the help it can get. Okay, last question. Did real people ask these questions, or did you make them up? Um... Well, if you think about it, making stuff up is a large part of the writing process, and look, it's a Stick Studios ending animation, so we're out of time. Hope this video was helpful. Part 10 of Penny Saves Paldea will be out August 11th, and until then, happy reading and happy training.